Now if you're a player that uses an upright swing, like you see me demonstrating here, these swings are much more about rhythm, about some good flow, good timing. And certainly, if you look at the entire equation, there's probably two sides that we have to look at. One being that rhythm side, that balance, that tempo, that flow, and then one being more the mechanics or the technical side. From this angle, uh, these upright swings for good iron players, the just the consistently good uh, ball strikers, the Tom Watsons, the Phil Mickelsons, uh, they just have tremendous balance, tremendous flow and rhythm to the swing, uh, good wrist hinge and, hinge and forearm rotation going back and through, and that allows the club to come down open, square at the bottom, and then re-hinge back up on the other side. From this angle, as the club goes up, there's good rotation of the forearms and the club to where the club is more at a 45 degree angle at the top or toe down. And that's just a good in indication that I've rotated the club properly going back. And then as I come down, the face will stay open. Right arm lengthens out. Upper body is waiting to go through. I don't want to be using my upper body here too quickly because that'll open up my chest and get the club coming down over the top. So hold the chest back, straighten the right elbow out, and that gets the club down into the hitting area. The clubs come down properly into the hitting zone like we see here. The chest will be pretty square at impact, maybe slightly open. The club releases or turns over, squares up, and then swings back up the plane. A nice upright swing coming through relative to the ball. It'll be like, you know, kind of pointing back down toward the ball somewhere. But just to remind you, it is more upright coming through versus, versus around. If you try to release the club and roll it over here to the left too low, you'll hit a big hook. So the club must swing upright to then come up over my shoulder here to keep this up upright swing working correctly. Once again, good flow, good rhythm, good balance. Very much of an arms looking type of motion versus a body turn motion. Light grip pressure, a big key here, and it enabling you to create that flow. If you grip it tight, you just can't feel the club head. You can't create the swing and the whip like you see there. And you'll find it very difficult to be repetitive if you're given a death grip. So keep it light, keep it flowing, great rhythm, balance, and this swing can really work well.